Hi, I'm Jackie from The Test Kitchen, and I'm here to share with you a few tips to get the most out of your kitchen spritzer. Here I have the kitchen spritzer already disassembled, so that way we can go through the parts and pieces. So first, we have the bottle with the sleeve. Both pieces are dishwasher safe, and you can actually remove the sleeve for dishwashing. You'll also see that we have a fill line, and this is really important because you do not want to fill the oil beyond that fill line. So I'm using canola oil here, but other oils can work well too, like olive oil or grapeseed oil. And so it's important to stay under that line because that's gonna give you the right air to oil ratio to get a nice fine mist. All right, so here we have the pumping mechanism. And I do wanna pop this collar off to show you one thing. So there is a black washer that's really important for the function of this product. And if it isn't nestled right here into place and it slipped down here or if it's on top of the bottle, that's okay. Just make sure that you have the collar back on and then once you screw this back on, it'll go right into place. And then we also have the tube here with the filter on the end. And what's really great is that you can actually fill this with your favorite dried herbs or spices and do a fused oil like we have here. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. And then we also have the cap in the pumping tube. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pump about 10 to 15 times. And you wanna pump until there's a strong resistance belt. Now, if the bottle is more full, it may take less pumps. And if the oil was close to the bottom, then um, it may require more pumps. And then we're gonna go ahead and just spray our pan. And you want the bottle to be at a 45 degree angle and that's gonna ensure that this all stays within the oil. And we have a nice fine mist, you have a little bit of droplets. And that's all gonna be due to the type of oil you use. Again, we're using canola, but if you use the thicker oil like olive oil, you may notice a little bit more sputtering or larger drops. And that's completely normal. It's all due to the type of oil you use and the thickness. Now before you store this, we do recommend to go ahead and unscrew this. And that's gonna release any pressure or buildup of oil. And that's also gonna prevent clogging over time. Now for best maintenance, we recommend deep cleaning one time a month. So to deep clean, you would remove the oil, and then you would fill this with hot soapy water, again, up to the fill line. And you would go ahead and spritz that through. And that's gonna help clean these parts because this piece and this piece are hand wash only. Then you would repeat again, but with just water, no soap. And that's really gonna make sure that everything is gonna get cleaned through. We hope you found these tips helpful. Happy spritzing.